Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'll be talking about sports code performance analysis software. Now this really is a step up from what we've talked about before. Uh, it's considered the gold standard when it comes to uh, video analysis in sort of a team sport basis. So it's used extensively uh, in the Premier League and Championship in the UK, all across Europe and the rest of the world as well. It can be very expensive, but there are lots and lots of features that you can start programming it to do sort of different aspects of performance analysis as well. So what we'll do today, we'll look at the real basics. Uh, we'll sh I'll show you how to create a project, how to create a code window with the buttons that you press, and then how to start tagging some real basic events. So to create a new project, you find the sports code icon on the bottom, double click that, and then at the top you'll go File, New, and you'll go New Timeline. And then you want to find your video file, so we've got this Arsenal versus Manchester United on our desktop, so I'll click that, and then Open. And then it says, do you wish to place the movie inside a movie package? And you always say yes. So now that that video file is now inside a sports code uh, package, and you can see the icon has changed up here uh, to a sports code icon. So let's just make that video size a bit smaller, so it's a bit more manageable. So here we go. So to control the video, you can start and stop with the space button. So you just press that start and stop and you can, this is like the timer across the, the little red bar, so you can drag that to the left and to the right, just so you can move forward and backwards through the video. You can press the shift and right arrow to fast forward, and then same on the left hand side to rewind, and you can press command or alt, and that varies the speed, whether you're fast forward and, uh, or rewinding as well. So sports code is similar to most other performance analysis programs. And now you'll have your three main areas on the screen. So you have your video player, first of all, then you have your code window, which are the buttons that you press, and you have your timeline where all those uh, clips are then collected so you can refer back to them in future. So now we'll have a look at code windows and how to create one, how to make buttons with labels, and then we'll show you how to tag some basic events as well. You would also need to make a code window to create the buttons and the labels, uh, which you're going to use to actually make the um, like the categories and the little clips within the main match footage. So if you go to File, New, and Code Window, and see this code window here pops up. I like to move it just into this section of the screen so I can still see the rest of the panels. So you could be interested in these two buttons um, on the top left hand uh, sort of panel and you've got edit mode and you've got uh, code mode as well. We'll stay in edit mode for the time being. So you wanna make these buttons, uh, code buttons, which actually make the clips from the game. So if you drag down a code button, you can drag down another one if you want, and you can drag as many of these down as you want, and you can right mouse click and delete button if you want to. Now you can edit these buttons uh, lots of different ways. So if you double click and you bring up the inspector window so you can change the name. So we'll just call this one shot. You can change the lead and the lag time. So this means that when you press the button it will record a certain amount of seconds before and a certain amount of seconds afterwards. So shot just for this example we're just going to put uh, five seconds lead and lag time. Um, you can put a hotkey in if you want to, so we could put S for shot, or you can put in whatever you want. And you can also click on this little paint palette at the top. You can change the colours, shape, size, uh, you can import a picture, lots and lots of different uh, sort of customizable options that you can use. We come out of that. So now if we go into the code mode here, so we click code mode. You see that the video starts playing. Now if we press this button, that button will now play for 10 seconds, so it's five seconds before and five seconds afterwards. And then you'll see on our timeline here, you'll see a shot line has been created. 
and then there's a little sort of vertical line and that is the little video clip that we've just made so if I just pause the video and double click on there and now that plays a video back that we've just created for 10 seconds if we go back into the edit mode so we click edit mode and then what we can do we can start to add some information to these buttons so we can drag down a label button and again we can drag as many of these down we can customize them similar to how we can the code buttons so if we double click and we'll change the name of this to maybe on target and then change this one to off target it's important to remember that these yellow uh, label buttons aren't creating natural videos they're just adding information to the code buttons that we've uh, made previously so if we go back into the code button if we turned off this lead and lag time then that would now turn into a manual button so we'd have to press the button once to turn it on and then once again to turn it off so I'll just show you that in action so I'll cross out there so then if we go back into our code mode if we just move this video on a section so if we imagine there is a shot now we can click shot so you can see that that's been highlighted and if we say maybe off target and that comes on there so now if we stop we can have a look at this here and you see in the bottom right hand corner it's labelled as shot and off target so if we take another one play video if we click shot on target that's finished so now that has added that information either off target or on target to the actual shot that we've selected so what we can do is a thing called the matrix just on this uh, bottom of our timeline panel here so we can double click on that matrix Ooh, opened up one too many double click on the matrix and we can see that the shot is in the left hand column here and we can see that we've got one off target and one on target so we've had and we've got one also that we haven't tagged as well so we've got a total of three shots so if we create another button here so if we go back into the edit mode and then double click we might call this corner for example and if we put our custom lead and lag time custom maybe five and five again just for an example you might you change them depending on what sort of um, set piece or whatever instance you are tagging click the cross and if we go back into code modes just move the timer along and then if we just click corner and that will run through now and you see that another line has been made with corner on so you can see you can have as many buttons as you want it's very customizable you can move the buttons anywhere around if you double click on a button you can link buttons together so when you press one it turns off another um, lots and lots of different sort of customizable options including just the aesthetics and the, actually how the buttons work as well but we can get into that at a later date this is just a a real basic tutorial how you sort of set up and use the real basics of sports code so over the course of the match you'll see that you build up lots and lots of rows of data so the row will go underneath where it says shot and corner uh, and you'll have a separate row for each individual category that you choose so each individual row uh, will correspond to the code buttons that you make so you might have one for individual players individual set pieces uh, styles of play etc and then on each row uh, we'll have all the little vertical lines which indicate each individual clip uh, so you can imagine it brings up lots and lots of data over the course of the match which makes using the matrix uh, very helpful so you can pull, start to pull out information from 
uh, the events that you've coded so that can assist you in when you perform your analysis. And here are some code windows and screen layouts of various sports for you to have a look at. So that's a real basic overview on sports code. Like I say, it's a very powerful piece of software. Uh, we could go on for hours and hours on what you can do with it, but hopefully that's given you a flavor of just exactly what it's like. Uh, so you can get you can get start to get to grips with the basics so you can be able to create a project and start coding some events. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up or hit that subscribe button as well.